In this video, we're going to talk about how to multiply algebraic fractions that contain variables and exponents. So let's start with the basics. Let's say if we have the fraction 3x divided by 4 multiplied by 5 divided by x. So how can we multiply and simplify these two fractions? Well, the first thing you could do is you can cancel an x variable on the numerator of the first fraction with the x variable of the denominator of the second fraction. x divided by x is 1. So now we're left with 3 over 4 times 5 over 1. When multiplying two fractions, you can multiply across. All you need to do is multiply 3 and 5, which is 15, and 4 and 1, which is simply 4. So the answer for this example is 15 divided by 4. This is an improper fraction, since the numerator is greater than the denominator. For practice, go ahead and work on these two examples. 7y divided by 4 times 5 over y. And also try this one. 15x divided by 8 times 4 over 25x. So just like the last example, we can cancel a y variable. And so we're left with 7 divided by 4 times 5 over 1. And then just multiply across. So if we multiply 7 and 5, that's going to give us 35. And then if we multiply 4 and 1, that's simply 4. So that's the answer for the first example. It's 35 over 4. Now for the second example, we can cancel the x variable just like before. And so we're left with 15 over 8 times 4 divided by 25. Now, we can choose to multiply across if we want to. Okay, I didn't want that to happen. If we do, we're going to get big numbers. Like, if we multiply 15 and 4, that's going to give us 60. And if we multiply 8 by 25, that's going to give us 200. And then we're going to have to reduce the fraction. So sometimes it's better to simplify before you multiply. 15, we can write it as 5 times 3. 8 is 4 times 2. And 25 is 5 times 5. Notice that we can cancel a 5 and we can cancel a 4. So this makes it a lot easier. So on top, all we have left over is 3. On the bottom, 2 times 5, which is 10. So the final answer is simply 3 divided by 10. So keep in mind, it's better to simplify first before you multiply fractions. Now let's work on another example. 4a divided by 3b multiplied by 6b squared divided by 12a. So go ahead and try that. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to expand everything. 6b squared, I'm going to write it as 3 times 2, which is 6, and b squared is b times b. 12a, that's 4 times 3, that's 12, and then we have one a variable. Now the reason why I wrote it this way is so you could see what's going to cancel. We can cancel a 3, we can cancel a 4, we could cancel an a variable, and we can cancel a b variable. So now all we need to do is write what's left over. So on the numerator we have a 2 and a b and multiply to each other so it's going to be 2b. In the denominator, all we have left over is simply a 3. So the final answer is 2b divided by 3. And that's all you need to do. So when multiplying algebraic fractions that contain variables, it's helpful to factor in the sense of you want to factor every variable apart and then cancel. So here's another similar example that you can work on for the sake of practice. 24 r squared 
divided by 15s multiplied by 35 s cubed over 32r. So take a minute, pause the video, and work on that problem. So 24, looking at that number, what? No, how should we break down 24? What numbers multiply to 24? 24 is 6 times 4, it's 8 times 3. Now, I'm going to write it as 8 times 3, because 32 is a multiple of 8. 32 is 8 times 4, so I can cancel the 8s r squared is simply r times r. Now 15, we can write it as 5 times 3, and there's an s as well. 35 is 5 times 7, and it's multiplied by s cubed, so we have 3 s variables. So we can begin by canceling an 8. Next, we can get rid of a 3. And we can also get rid of an s. In addition to that, we can get rid of a 5, and we can get rid of an r variable, and I believe that's it. I don't see anything else that we can cancel. So we're left with a single r, two s variables, so that's going to be r times s squared divided by, and all we have in the denominator is a 4. And let's not forget about the 7. I almost forgot about that, so let's put the 7 on top and a 4 on the bottom. So the final answer is 7r s squared over 4. I'm just going to take a minute and see if I didn't miss anything. But I believe I got everything. And so this is it. We can't simplify that fraction any further. Let's try this problem. 3x plus 6 divided by 9x squared multiplied by 2x divided by 4x plus 8. Go ahead and simplify this problem. So 3x plus 6, notice that we can factor the expression. We can take out the GCF, the greatest common factor. What is the greatest common factor between 3x and 6? The greatest common factor is 3. If we take 3x and divide it by 3, that's going to give us x. And if we take 6 and divide it by 3, that's going to give us 2. So you can write it as 3 times x plus 2. If you use the distributive property, it's going to give you the original expression. For example, 3 times x is 3x, and then 3 times 2 is 6. So we want to write it this way, and you'll see why. 9x squared, I'm going to factor it by writing it as 3 times 3 times x times x. 2x, there's nothing that we can do, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. 4x plus 8, we can take out the GCF. The greatest common factor is 4. 4x divided by 4 is x, and then 8 divided by 4 is positive 2. So now, let's see what we can cancel. We can get rid of an x plus 2, we can get rid of an x, and we can cancel a 3. So we're left over with, we have a 2 left over on top. On the bottom, we have an x, a 3, and a 4. Now 4, I'm going to replace it with 2 times 2, so I can cancel a 2. And so now I have 1 divided by 3x times 2. 3x times 2 is 6x. So the final answer is 1 divided by 6x, and that's it. Here's the next problem that we could work on. 30x cubed divided by 5x squared minus 10x multiplied by 2x minus 4 divided by 3x. You can try this if you want to. So let's start with the denominator on the left. Let's take out the greatest common factor, which if you see it, it's 5x. 5x squared divided by 5x will leave behind just an x variable. And negative 10x divided by 5x is negative 2. 
Now, if we factor 2x minus 4, you can see that the GCF is 2. And this is going to leave behind x minus 2 as well. We can't do anything with the 3x. Now, 30x cubed, we can break that down into 10 times 3. And 10, we can write that as 5 times 2. So 30, I'm going to write as 5 times 2 times 3. And x cubed is simply x times x times x. Now, we can cancel an x minus 2. We can cancel an x variable. And we can cancel another x variable. And finally, we can cancel a 5. And there's one more thing we can do. We can get rid of a 3 as well. And that should be it. So now on top, we have 2 times 2, which is 4. We have an x variable left over. And nothing on the bottom, so you could just put a 1. So the final answer is simply 4x.